Hello, my name is Sergi Tuni, and I'll be presenting some flame speed measurements work conducted at Prism in the University of Orléans, located in France, under the supervision of uh, Professor Moulin Roussel and Pierre Brikin. Ammonia exhibits very slow flame speeds compared to traditional fuels employed in the transport or powered industry. As such, to enhance ammonia's poor combustion capacities, ammonia was blended with either hydrogen or methane. To measure flame speeds, a constant volume spherical chamber was employed with flames recorded using Schlieren cinematography. To give you an idea of the differences in flame speeds, the first video is a 100% ammonia flame, whilst the second video is a 50-50 ammonia hydrogen flame. Both experiments were conducted under the same conditions, however clearly both flames exhibit very different combustion behaviour. Now some results in discussion. The graphs on the left-hand side represent experimentally measured values of uh, lambda bending velocities of either hydrogen ammonia or methane ammonia blends. The right-hand side graphs represent model values of heat release, O and H, radical production using various mechanisms. Clearly, as can be seen, um, addition of methane to ammonia results in a linear enhancement of the flame speed. However, Doping ammonia with hydrogen results in a linear increase in flame seal till about 20% doping. Any further enrichment uh, results in an exponential increase of the flame speed. Lamina flame speeds of the binary blends investigated seem to be highly correlated to the burning intensity and the O and H radical productions with exactly the same trends replicated as the flame speeds. Various mechanisms were appraised and it seems that uh, today's reaction mechanisms are relatively in good agreement with uh, experimental data. The key message of the poster is the fact that the use of either hydrogen or methane to ammonia, as long as it's less than 20%, um, could potentially be achieved using the same combustor. Thank you very much.